Good morning, good afternoon, good night, guys. What is up? It's JoJo. I am back. We're doing a Q&A through my Instagram about my role in Disney, which is the custodian role. Um, I'm here. I'm wearing my new merch, by the way. So if you haven't, go check it out. People just got their shipment. They like it. Look, see? Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Every day is a blessed day. Um, I'm here with Forky because uh, Forky thinks he's trash. I am trash, and together we pick up trash in Disney World. <laughs> All right, let's start this Q&A. Now, I got these questions from my Instagram, so if you don't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. That will be down below. Uh, maybe I'll put something here. I don't know. Now, if this is the first video you're ever watching of me, my name is Jojo. I work in Disney World in Orlando, Florida, and I'm a custodian. What's a custodian, Jojo? A custodian is someone who uh, cleans up, you know, keeps the park looking really pretty, and we're also guest services. So we help answer any question that the guests have, or we try to answer them to the best of our abilities. So I've been a custodian since my uh, college program of spring 2019. So I became a custodian when I came down here on July, wait, not July, oh my God, January, uh, I think 25th or 28th? I think January 28th. And I worked in Magic Kingdom, Adventureland, and Liberty Square for about six months. And then once my college program was over, I switched over to full time as a custodian in Hollywood Studios. And I've been there ever since. And I've worked both, both the East and the West. I've basically worked everywhere in Hollywood Studios except Galaxy's Edge. So I have some knowledge, you know. I haven't been, I've been a custodian coming up to a year now, so I have some cool information about it for people who are just interested and also people who are looking at this for the college program or are thinking about custodian for the college program in the future. And overall, before I get into these questions, um, custodian is honestly a hidden gem. It's awesome. You still make friends, but you honestly make more friends, I feel like, than any other role because you are roaming. So you meet so many other people. I have merchandise friends, attractions friends, uh, entertainment friends. You're kind of literally walking around everywhere. So, you know, it's kind of up to you to say hello to people. But when you do, you make like a ton of new friends. And on top of it, you meet a ton of guests. The guest interaction in this role is so, so high. You're constantly talking to guests. You're, you know, I don't know what it is. You're, also, you're, you're pin trading so you can wear pins because you're not a safety critical role. So you're pin trading with people. You're telling people where to go. Sometimes if they really don't know, if guests don't know where they're going, they can, we can even walk guests to certain areas of the park. So between all of that, uh, your guest interaction is really high. And as a custodian, when you're first looking at this, you don't really realize that. I didn't realize that. I, and I'm not gonna lie, at first when I saw I was gonna be a custodian, I was a little worried. And that's when I started watching YouTube videos. And everyone said it was so good. So when I came on my college program, I was so ready to see what all the hype and talk was about. And it truly was awesome. Uh, I love the role and I recommend it to literally anyone, you know, no matter what you're doing in, in Disney, uh, it's an awesome role, honestly. Someone, I asked someone yesterday when I was working, I was like, what should I title this video? And they were like, something with tea. And I was like, sweeping up the tea in Disney? I don't know if I'm gonna title it that, but I thought that was funny. Anyway, here we go. First question I see from my Instagram. Does working for Disney ruin the magic? No. Um, I think my magic definitely was changed though. Um, you know, when you do work for Disney, you see a lot more things than an average uh, guest would. But I think the magic that you lose is replaced with a different kind of magic. One where you can make so many other people happy and realize you have that power to just make someone's day. And that's magical in itself. What is the craziest thing you have seen in the trash? Honestly, when I pull my trash, I don't really look into the trash. Um, the Disney single rider. But... I found multiple glow cubes, which is crazy in itself because I don't understand why people would throw those out. Like, they're so cool. They're literally like, they, they're ice cubes, so they get cold and they glow. They like change, they're like multicolored. You get them from your drinks. People throw those out. And I've seen multiple of them in the trash can. So that's pretty crazy because I pull out the trash bin and the trash bin's glowing like different colors. I always think something crazy is about to happen, but it's just a glow cube. But it's cool. 
Matthew Seven Rydenor and Alex Pacheco. You guys basically ask the same thing. What's your favorite park to work in? What is one of your favorite locations to work in? Um, my favorite park is to work in Hollywood Studios, and I'm not just saying that because I work there. <laughs> But I really do like working in Hollywood Studios. I've had the best time there. I really enjoy my coworkers. I love my leaders there. Um, all the parks are good to work in in some capacity. I mean, I loved working in Dino Land in um, Animal Kingdom. Working in England was fun in Epcot and in Magic Kingdom. You know, eventually in Liberty Square, my original home. It was always something going on there. There was never a dull moment in there. So which one is which one is your favorite location to work? I'll have to say. Out of all the times I've had, I'm not gonna include studios. I really worked working uh, Dino Land and Animal Kingdom because um, Chip and Dale and Pluto would play around with me sometimes, so it was a lot of fun. Jessica Burdick asks, "Are you having fun as a custodian in Hollywood Studios?" I am. I love it there. I love my coworkers. You know, I've been saying this, but I really have a good time. Everyone there is honestly nice. Not just my coworkers, but. Um, you know, attractions and uh, entertainment and everyone that's been there, it's been a fun time. Actually, a really funny story, the other day I was in Toy Story Land and I was walking through and Buzz Lightyear saw me because I was just watching the interaction and not thinking that Buzz Lightyear would actually see me, but he saw me. He pointed at me and I walked over, I'm like, what's up? And he wanted to clean up something, so I gave Buzz my, uh, my, my broom and he sweeped up a sticker off the ground in front of him. And he did a really good job at it, so that was really cool. Dylan Anderson Photography said, Is there always new things to look forward to? Honestly, yes. Um, when I'm off for two or three days in a row and I come back, I feel like it's new and fresh because there's always things changing, not just in custodian, but in the parks. There's always new uh, times that we have for attractions. There's new procedures we have for custodians. And honestly, like, especially with Hollywood Studios, with Rise of the Resistance now open, and Mickey and Minnie's opening up later in March, and just little things happening here and there. There's been there's been so many updates since I've been here in Hollywood Studios. So it's honestly pretty exciting because when there is something new in the park, or if there's a new, even a new bathroom, anything that's new, we as custodians, we definitely like know and feel that change because not if there's a new bathroom of course that's a new bathroom for us to figure out and keep clean but if there's like a new attraction we get a lot of questions about that attraction so if there's anything ever new in the parks we get it so to answer your question is there's always something to look forward to yeah and just as work in general because we're not st stuck to one specific location um, we can walk around. There's always something new to meet. There's always something new to do. There's always someone new to talk to. It can literally be super calm or super busy. Every day is a different day. And every day is a different day. Every day is a different day as a custodian. Jet Hoffman asked, How do you like your role as custodial? Do you enjoy it? Do you have fun while doing it? Um, yes. For example, that's the exact example. When I was going to a bathroom to clean up, I saw this family playing heads up. So I hopped in for a round obviously went to go to clean my bathroom after, but like that moment where I just hopped in and played a round of heads up with them while they were waiting for their family to get off rock and roller coaster, they thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And like, I think it truly made their vacation different. So that was awesome. JDRZ week 18, what is the hardest thing to clean up? Good question. Gum is kind of hard sometimes because it's stuck. So you have to get a certain kind of chemical to clean it. So that's kind of tough. Um, anything, basically any spills, like if you take out a bag and it starts spilling everywhere and it's just creating a huge leak, not only do you have to like bag up the leak, but then you have to clean the street and you also have to tell people to stay out of the way so they don't get their shoes dirty. It, it, it's a mess. I think the hardest thing to clean up is coffee spills because you don't realize how much coffee people throw away until it's all on the floor and you've got to clean it up. <laughs> do you think sunscreen is needed in your role? Hint, love you. That's my mom. Thanks, mom. Diane Montreal. Um, my mom would always tell me to wear sunscreen, especially during the summer, because it gets really hot. And if I'm trying to prevent wrinkles in the future, like when I'm older, I'd wear sunscreen. 
So, little tip for you, uh, if you're going to be a custodian and you know you burn easily, make sure you bring some sunscreen because um, it does get pretty hot out here and you're in the sun all day. Jadon E, what percentage is cleaning versus guest interaction and other things? You kind of can't predict that, it depends on the day. If it's a slower day in the parks, you definitely will have more guest interaction. But if it's a busy day, you'll get more tasks to keep the you know park clean because it's busy. So you can't really predict. I mean, I sometimes I clean and interact at the same time. So there's that. You know, if I'm cleaning a bathroom, I say hi to people, or if I'm sweeping popcorn off the streets, I'm like, what's up people? So you can't really tell. But I always try to interact with guests as much as possible. Christopher Rowan asks, do you like your costume? Yes, I love my costume. It's it's light, it's simple, it's clean. It's really a t-shirt, shorts, belt, and shoes. Uh, sometimes a hat if you want to wear a hat. I love my costume. I wouldn't want to wear anything else. It's pretty sleek. Um, I know I did a get ready for me, so if you want to see what my costume looks like, go check it out on my channel. But it's pretty dope. I love my costume. Another question. Uh, B C U E R underscore zero is custodian globally trained? Yes, custodian is globally trained, which is nice because then we can pick up in different locations. I can work in every single park if I want to. Resorts and theme parks are different, though. Oh, theme parks. Our resorts are different, however, but I can work in any of the parks and the water parks. So I can work at all four parks: Blizzard or Typhoon, which is really cool. So as a custodian. Especially if you're just going to be on the college program for a little bit and you know you're not leaving. It's fun to work at every park and get a little taste of everything. It's pretty awesome, honestly. It's a nice way to spice up your work week. Miss Mandolina asks, what's different in your custodian role as a full-timer opposed to a DCP? Nothing much, honestly. Just more the fact that I know I'm here now. On the DCP, I guess you kind of know you're leaving and stuff, but when you're a full-time, it's kind of weird because like you know you're here and you've been here. You almost feel like a res you almost feel like a responsibility to do good to set a role model slash example for others. As a DCP, I didn't really feel like that. But as a full timer, when new DCP people come in, um, I honestly feel like I want to do my best so they can see what it's like to you know do the best. I, I just want to set a good example for everyone. And now that I'm full time, like I have a more res deeper respect for like guests and knowing it's their vacation. So I just want to put my best out there so they have a good time, so they can leave um, being happy. You know, if I can make a guest interaction that they remember at the end of the day on their trip, that just makes my world. And for the final question today, Eve asks, what is the best and worst part of custodian? I think the best part is just meeting and interacting with so many people, interacting with guests, coworkers, um, just finding out stories. Anytime I see someone who's engaged or married, I love asking them how they uh, proposed. You know, like how they got married. Um, you know, what birthday are you celebrating? Where are you from? That is the best part about custodian. I just get to learn about so many people's stories and their walks of life. It's honestly incredible. And probably the worst part is knowing that one day I'm gonna have to leave custodian. Um, I love this job and I would love to do it forever, honestly. But I do want to continue to grow in my career and just personally so I can never stay in one job for too long. So it's going to be really hard one day when I have to leave because this is such a unique and awesome position where I get so much freedom to not only do my job but make magic and impact other people's lives that I wouldn't want to leave it honestly. So that I think the worst part is whenever I'm not a custodian anymore, that's going to be the hardest part because I love this job. But with all that being said, if you are watching this and you're on the DCP or someone who just wants to be a custodian in general, I'm going to say it one more time. Do it. Go for it. Forky approves. I approve. It is such a good job. I at first wasn't really keen about it. I was very nervous. I didn't know what to expect. But I've been blessed and so surprised and happy by this role and it literally made my college program amazing and it's why I want to stay down here right now and pursue full time here at Disney because I enjoy it that much. So if you get custodian, don't worry, do it. And if you're considering custodian for the college program in the future, do it. And if you're just in the area and you want to do custodian as a part time, full time job, go for it. It's awesome. I love it. 
And with all that being said, guys, it's been an amazing time today. I hope you enjoyed that Q&A. Make sure you go down below and follow me on Instagram so you can be part of my next Q&A. Look at my Christmas tree. It's so pretty. We got lights on my Christmas tree now. Little Christmas tree update for you guys. Also, check out the merch. They'll be under the video. Um, there'll be a link down below. Um, this all this comes in different colors. This is the good morning, good afternoon, good night shirt. JoJo's world every day is a blessed day. It's really comfortable actually. I have a blast in it. Like look at this. Like it's so comfy right now. So um, thank you guys so much. Um, with all that being said, every day is a blessed day to be alive, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.